you guys, Mark the Guitar Guy here, and I don't know about you, but have you ever wondered how Martin Offer got that little, I call it a flutter strum in this song, let's do it here. Well, I'm here to show you guys exactly how to do it. Mark the Guitar Guy, that's right, the Guitar Guy, all the way from New Zealand, here to show you guys how to do that particular trick, and how to put it in a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Coming right up, so stick around. Okay, so I've had a whole bunch of people lately asking me, and this is really cool with the Skype lessons that I've been doing. That's right, Skype lessons. I do them online, Facebook, book now. Um, and they've been asking me how to do that little idea with the little double up strum thing. And it didn't really have a name, because I was thinking, what do I call this for this video even? Like, what, do I, what am I going to call this idea? And I call it a flutter, like a flutter. And what it is, is with a double time strum. Let's say, let's, let's say I'm doing a down, down, up, up, down, up. I'm just playing a D minor chord. And there's a little, this little double time. That dig a down, that little. It's like a little, little gallopy sort of sound within the strum, but it's just only one. You don't do too many. You're not doing, not a whole bunch, but just. And then I was trying to teach how to do that with some of my students. And I came up with, some amazing tips to help you guys do this, okay? And these things are kind of simple, only when you know them. So let's do this idea, okay? Let's do this with it. We might as well, you can use a D minor out there, guys. If you don't want to use that, we can use, let's just do a chord we can all do, okay? Let's just do a G chord. And the idea with this flutter, and I guess the problems with the flutter to start with, exactly, is probably the best place to start, is that when we strum normally, let's say that's our strumming radius, all right? Now if you try and double speed a strum that's this wide, it's you've got a long way to go and it ends up being a hell of a mess. It does this. And what we end up is because we have to double sp uh, speed it up and try and get the arm all the way up and down, we end up with a we end up with a very loud sounding flutter. Okay, so you can hear that there. And that might be what you're after, but even that wasn't quite right, so I made it a little bit too easy. If I actually go... And you can't help it when you go full on distance to make that sound. So if we make a flutter, you want to make a... Uh, if we have a gut doing a flutter, but we actually make it a tiny, tiny, tiny strum, like a little, little movement, where we're only really using our wrist, that's going to help us. But the volume's going to go down. And that's actually a good thing, and you'll see why in a second. So let's try it out again. Here comes the flutter. Already straight away, way easier, way easier because I've. And if you think of playing one or two strings, that's going to help you a lot. Like I'm just going to zero in and maybe play these two little strings in the middle here. In the case of this D chord, so I'm. And the, the way to practice it might just be to do down strokes and just to add it in there. Now the other trick to this though, so you might be doing that and maybe getting caught amongst the strings a little bit. Think about a very, very feathery, and it's a really important word for this flutter, feathery strum. And so when I say feathery, we don't hold the pick very hard, okay? We're holding it kind of loose. We have a very relaxed hand, and it's almost like a very limp <laughs> wristed sort of attack to the guitar. So, so I'm just doing down strokes. Very loose, fluttery, and it doesn't have to be super accurate. It can be kind of ish. So, let's double it up the speed. So here we go. Now we're getting somewhere with this thing. In the count for this, one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four, and a one, two, three. And you'll start noticing the ender which is exactly what it is, is quiet. And the strum after it is strong. So you actually end up doing a flutter with a strong beat afterwards. So let's focus on that a little bit. So now let's just do the flutter, the down up, with a strong down. So we're going to go down up, down, okay? Now the strong down doesn't have to be as physically a big uh, strum. It's just more strings. Think about it that way. That, that'll make it way easier. Even if you come from nothing, like it is this just then. And you start getting a feel for how to do that technique. 
Now the next step to this is integrating it into a strum. So if we just do a down, down, up, up, down, up, our rock strum, and at the end. So the one of that is the end of the flutter. Da 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 is the one of the next beat. One, two, three, four. And you'll notice when you're practicing this at home, guys, you'll find that naturally you want to play that hard because you're concentrating on it because it's the thing we're worrying about. It becomes this big thing, right? The flutter. Oh my God, we're going to get the flutter right. Ba da da! It ends up being that, you know? So it ends up being. And it becomes that each time, okay? It's which is full on. Probably just peaked the microphone when I did that. <laughs> Apologize for that. <laughs> but you're gonna get that's what your mind's doing because ah oh, here comes the bit! Here it comes. And the other thing you might end up doing, which is really natural, is to speed up. You know, you're like, here it comes up. You end up doing that because naturally you get you know, you're all focused on getting the flutter right. So that's normal too. I'm just here to tell you what's gonna happen when you do this, because I've been there and a lot of my students have been there and we all know what that feels like. Steve Ray Vaughan went there. He had issues with this. Eric Clapton had issues with the flutter initially. Initially. He got better afterwards and then he didn't come for lessons anymore, but that's another long story. Here we go. So let's try to some different chords. Let's let's do the D minor from Sultan's of Swing, okay? Let's do the same idea. So down, down, up, up, down, down. Up. playing a bar chord so it seems like it's going to be harder right but it's not it's the same idea though we just have to think about it as the same idea D minor and the strong beat out of that you'll also notice is the last part of that so there's a few key tips to this right first step with the flutter is the very most important step of all is to make sure your strum is small it's tiny it's feathery it's small that's the second step actually the feathery part but the smallness it's only a couple of strings a couple of strings we don't, then we don't have to worry about doing this big strum. We can just we can do that all day long, and it's cool for all sorts of all that sort of idea, those funky ideas. It's the same idea. It's just a flutter, but just turned into a strum. Now the other thing is feathery. Feathery is the lightness of the wrist. We keep it all light, and we just just a small movement, and we're not aiming for volume. We're just aiming for the speed of the little flutter. It's just barely making a note. Because it's really the percussive element that we're wanting. Uh, where I'm doing it is that. Um, if you want to do that, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And we're aiming for that percussive element more than the chord being perfect. So it doesn't actually matter how many strings we hit. It's a, it's that, it's that what, it's what we're aiming for inside the chord. So if you are wondering what that is, I will break that down for you because I think that's probably only fair that I'm playing that and going to give you the exact strum. So I'm strumming that real slow now, D minor. Down, down, up, down. That's the flutter. So the flutter is the second beat. Down, down, up, down. Basically, down, down, up, down. Uh, down, down, up, down, up. That's it. Down, that's, so it's down, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Up, down, up, down, flutter. Down, flutter, up, up, down, up, down. And as you get faster, like, ah, oh, oh, what's happening? So you can see where that comes from now. So that idea is super cool, and I called it the flutter, so I'm claiming that. Mark, the guitar guy, all the way from New Zealand, the crazy Kiwi guitar player that's here to teach you some crazy ideas. I'm claiming it, the flutter. We're calling it the flutter from now on. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. A bit of a random one, but I love showing you these new ways of looking at guitar because sometimes you just gotta break it down to something simple like that. If you like my style of teaching, I suggest you subscribe like all the other YouTubers out there. You've gotta be crazy if you're not subscribing to the channel. Some cool content coming out all the time. I know I'm sharing all the time these crazy ways of looking at how to do basic, um, or complex ideas that make them really simple. If you like my style of teaching, go and check me out on Facebook. Go to the Book Now button and push that Book Now button and get a one-on-one -on -one with me. I think it's a great idea to even just have a look at what you might be doing slightly differently that we could just tweak slightly and all of a sudden you become a way more awesome guitar player. Plus, it'd be really cool to meet you. Um, I've got made some wicked friends. 
all around the world. Wicked's a cool word we use in New Zealand. Um, and all from the use of Skype. And Skype's such a great tool as well. And not only that, there's also go to my channel and like my stuff. There's albums coming out very shortly, songs coming out very shortly. I'm in the studio right now working on some stuff. That's why I've been so busy. I'm excited to share it all with you. And I'm going to play you out with a couple of funky as guitar things with flutters in them. I've got no idea what's going to happen, but let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. All right. 